Elon Musk is a visionary whose ideas have, for the most part, improved society. From pushing the electric car and renewable energy mandate with Tesla to getting the world excited about space again with SpaceX, the man has achieved a lot. The second richest man in the world has his fingers in many companies and it seems a new venture is in the works. Elon Musk has announced, in his usual way though, through Twitter, that he wants to create a city around his SpaceX Starship facility. He seems to mean business, as the name Starbase has already been floated for the city. One tweet from Elon Musk has the power to shift entire sectors, and this one in particular has attracted a lot of attention. Stay with us until the end of this video as we talk about everything we know on Starbase. Also, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below saying, I subscribed, and I'll personally reply to your comment. Now, let's get right into the video. Please consider moving to Starbase or Greater Brownsville slash South Padre area in Texas and encourage friends to do so," Musk tweeted. SpaceX is hiring needs for engineers, technicians, builders, and essential support personnel of all kinds are growing rapidly. Building a city would have several advantages for SpaceX. In theory, it might help the private spaceflight company attract future employees and encourage a political climate friendly to do a business that is bound to be a noisy neighbor. If all the business neighbors are its staff, there is less chance of the business having to deal with disgruntled residents. The town could even pave the way for the development of all kinds of amenities that might be useful near what could become a transportation hub. Musk's idea may sound a little strange, but in truth, he isn't the first entrepreneur to consider creating a city. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, there were several examples of company towns, and Hershey, Pennsylvania, the chocolate factory, was among them. In recent times, the idea has begun gaining new life because tech entrepreneurs have started voicing their dissatisfaction with government regulations and constraints. Back in December, Musk packed up his home in California and relocated to Texas following a dispute with the Californian lawmaker over government shutdowns amid the global crisis of 2020. Before that, in June of last year, Tesla decided that Austin, Texas would be the location where its largest auto assembly plant would be set up. Tesla has vowed to employ a minimum of 5,000 workers and will luckily enjoy more than $60 million in tax breaks from Travis County and possibly a local school district for itself over the next decade. It's going to be an ecological paradise, open to the public. Musk remarked about the new factory that sits on a 2,100-acre site along the Colorado River, which is about 13 minutes from downtown Austin. According to a Bloomberg report, Cameron County Judge Eddie Trevino said that a SpaceX representative recently casually inquired about possibly acquiring Boca Chica and renaming it the City of Starbase. The judge said in a statement that county commissioners had been informed of the talks about Boca Chica, which is a small town close to the Mexican border where SpaceX's new Starship prototypes dominate the seaside skyline. The isolated beachside neighborhood of Boca Chica Village used to be a retiree's dream neighborhood filled with snowbirds and those who enjoyed dirt biking, fishing, lounging near the water, and any other outdoor activity. Most of that has changed as today, traffic is most likely to back up the only highway out of the unincorporated area that only about half a dozen residents call home. Those in SpaceX's Starship facility occupy the small town. In the daytime, tourists troop in and form a line on the roads for photos and selfies with the stainless steel spaceship on the development, and when night falls, excavators plow the earth at the busy construction site. Before test launches, the remaining residents always receive a notice recommending that they temporarily evacuate for safety. In the past, the company towns created were usually designed to attract workers to new job sites. Mining and smelting industries were some of those that often put up their sites far away from populated areas. And while that was ideal due to noise and the fear of contamination, it was inconveniently far away for daily commutes. A company town was almost a necessary overhead expense, said Tracy Haddon Lowe, who is a fellow at Brookings, a DC-based think tank. One clear example of such is Smelter Town, a company town created in Texas in the late 1800s by American smelting and refining company to focus on copper and lead extraction. Due to the times, the El Paso located town was very segregated. White engineers and plant managers lived in wood-framed homes with indoor plumbing, while workers of Mexican descent resided in smaller cinder block homes. Monica Perels, associate professor of history at the University of Houston and author of the book Smelter Town Making and Remembering a Southwest Border Community, has explained that often these amenities and relationships that were cultivated between the company and the community could work to everybody's advantage, but in some ways they were a form of control. 
I've heard it referred to as the Iron Fist in the Velvet Glove. Workers were often stranded in debt as the company determined everything in the town, from payment methods to prices of goods. Eventually, due to a pollution lawsuit against the company, Smelter Town was demolished in 1973. In contemporary times, some sort of company towns actually exist and can be found in the Silicon Valley area. Campuses of tech firms there are abundant with laundry amenities, free food, and Wi-Fi enabled buses. The downside to this is that when such services are provided, they can destroy the boundary between employees' work time and personal time. Eventually, it reduces reason to leave the campus space, which can make employees stay at work longer and longer. The question here is if they will be properly paid for the overtime. Startup societies, which are small locations that push new policies and forms of governance, are another modern manifestation of the company town. They are capable of making changes in regulation, which in turn can hasten progress in technology. However, none of these have gone past the stage of planning in the US. Isabel Simpson, a doctoral candidate in geography at McGill University, has presented the question of who exactly the startup societies could help. We know that these societies are described as communities of like-minded people, and that they are commonly introduced as a way to improve the lives of the poor through job creation and entrepreneurship communities. Time will tell how successful their mission is. Elon Musk's actual plans for the city of Starbase is still ambiguous, because SpaceX has not responded to any requests for comment, and Musk himself has given just a few clues on Twitter. Recently, he tweeted that he foresees that Starbase will grow by several thousand people in the next year or two, and that he plans to donate $20 million to Cameron County Schools and $10 million to the nearby city of Brownsville for what he calls downtown revitalization. Planning appears to be in the early stages at best. SpaceX officials expressed an interest in incorporation during a conversation with Cameron County's legal departments, of which Boca Chica Village is a part of, but neither Musk nor the company had turned in the necessary paperwork to begin the process, according to a statement from Cameron County Judge Eddie Trevio Jr. last month. There's a lot associated with incorporating, other than just wanting to, he said. To begin, Texas state law requires a potential municipality to have at least 201 residents to incorporate. According to Alan Bajorquez, a municipal lawyer who serves as city attorney for several Texas cities, a Texas Supreme Court ruling also states that there must be a nucleus around which town can develop and that the area must be capable of receiving municipal services on a regular basis. Inhabitants would then have to vote on whether they want to incorporate the city. The law is very straightforward, said Bajorquez, who has no affiliation with Boca Chica Village or SpaceX's plans. The difficult part of the incorporation process is truly the public relations and the politics of convincing people who live out in the country to become a city. As SpaceX's aspirations in Boca Chica rose, the company began to give residents buyouts. As of March, Space owned by 110 parcels in Cameron County by an affiliated LLC. The site is envisioned by the corporation as a potential spaceport to the stars, from which Starship spacecraft will depart on routine flights. SpaceX is attempting to drill for natural gas, the rocket's fuel, on nearby land as part of that venture, and it is at odds with an oil company over the matter. SpaceX could gain greater power over municipal laws, such as zoning, by incorporating Starbase, allowing the company to perform more test flights and launches without having to evacuate the surrounding area for safety reasons. It could also make the area more appealing to future employees looking to move. There are a lot of ways this could go, but the workers could also have to deal with the fallout of anything that goes wrong within the city. Would the benefits outweigh the risks at the end? Will SpaceX follow through on this plan? Let us know what you think, and thank you for watching one of our videos. While you're still here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there!